Okay, for this lesson, you want to pull the notes that are titled uh, Probability Models and Measures of Central Tendency. I think in focus, it's the one that has to do with box and whisker plots. We're still not going to get to the box and whisker plot today, but it's coming, don't worry. And uh, that's where we're going to continue filling this out. You should not have uploaded it. I just today graded some of the notes on uh, multiple events, and some of you watched the first multiple events, uploaded the notes, and you didn't know that there was another video and didn't finish the rest of the notes out. So um, you should not be uploading the notes for probability models and measures of central tendency. Yeah. Um, now, the other thing I'm going to do is, if you look down at the bottom of the sheet, it says sometimes we may not know enough about a situation to determine probabilities. I'm actually going to skip over that part, and we're going to go over to where it says review a box and whisker plots, and I want to review mean and median first, and then we'll go back and talk about the uh, probability model, um, the simulation, which is normally a class activity, but... It's the 2020-2021 school year, so nothing looks like it normally does. All right, so if you, um, I don't know if it's like going to be on a new page or if it's like the back of the page. It depends on how the packets were done out uh, when I had the packets of the notes copied. But you want to be looking at where it says review a box and whisker plots. And we are going to review box and whisker plots. It's just we're going to wait to get the class data to do it. So uh, what I wanted to talk about is reviewing mean and median. Uh, these are measures of what are called of what's called central tendency. And you think of like central tendency is think of the center and then tendency is like where something tends to be. So they're numbers that describe where the center or middle of the of a set of numbers tends to be. There's actually four measures of central tendency, the mean, the median, the mode, and something called the mid-range. Um, they all are calculated differently and they all have pros and cons to like which one of those numbers you would want to use in a given situation. Uh, the two most common though are the mean and the median. So the mean is known as the average. Now it's actually something called the arithmetic average. There is something called the geometric average or geometric mean that you would have studied in your geometry class last year um, where you talk about like a a proportion, the means and the extremes of an, a proportion. Uh, but usually when we say average, um, we're talking about the um, arithmetic average of a set of numbers. And what you do is you add up all the numbers and then you divide by however many numbers you have. Okay. Now, sometimes when I ask students this, I say, what's the mean? I will get this response. You add the numbers and divide by two, only if you just have two numbers. That's, that would only work if you have two numbers. So the rule is, is that you divide by however many numbers you have. And so you could have like really large numbers or really small numbers, and you would add them all up, basically throw them all into a pot together, and then you see how what number you would have if they were distributed evenly if you distributed evenly between those numbers like where would that be okay the median is defined as the middle number the middle number um when the numbers are ordered from, and I have in my blanks least to greatest. Now, it, it honestly doesn't matter if you order them least to greatest or greatest to least. But um, typically when you have, yeah, we have the or vice versa. When you have a, a number line, you have the lesser numbers on the left and you have the greater numbers on the right. Unless you're doing a coordinate plane for a test I recently graded where somebody did it the other way around. I don't know why that sometimes happens, but sometimes it does. Okay. Um, and so the median is actually like, you've got to put the numbers in order first. And every year I have students who don't put the numbers in order and they just find the middle number. It's got to be put in order. Um, and both of these numbers, the, the average and the median give you a sense of where the center is, but they're not, obviously they're not calculated the same way. In fact, the average might not even be a number in the set of numbers, which you will notice in the example that we're about to do. It, like the average is not 
even a number in the set. Um, average is also very prone to what are called outliers, um, where a median is not prone to outliers. So in my MGF 1106 class, we do a unit on probability and statistics, and those are some of the things I talk about. Um, just, you know, how these numbers behave. A lot of times you actually would like to have both of these numbers, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that too. All right. So that brings us to, if you back up, like, so flip your page back over or look at the front or look at the previous page, okay? Um, and you'll see this. So this gets into the probability simulation piece. So sometimes we may not know enough about a situation to determine the probability. In other words, you just don't have enough information. So for example, when you're rolling a die, okay, you know that there are six sides of the die, you know that they're numbered one through six, and so you can find the probability of rolling a three because it's one out of six and you have that information. But sometimes you just might not have enough information there. In these cases, we run something called a simulation. So in class, we do um, this activity, and it's kind of fun to do, and it was kind of sad. I just did the activity on my own. Yeah, um, sitting here in my apartment, I just did it on my own because it's the 2020-2021 school year. So, of course, that's how we roll. Anyway, here we go. Uh, suppose you are playing a board game where you have to roll a six before you can begin moving around the board. And you've probably played board games like that where you have to roll a particular thing in order to get started and you're probably the one not rolling it and everybody else is moving through the game and you're stuck, okay? How many times can you expect to roll the die before you can be begin playing? In other words, how many rolls do you think it will take before you will roll a six? So the group activity looks like this. Um, I would put you guys in groups. We don't really have groups. Like I recently kind of put the desks back into pairs from groups of three. But with the desk shields, it just makes this awkward anyway. Uh, you, you have each person in your group roll the die until you roll a six. And then you would gather that data, um, pass it to the next person. And then I would come around to each group and I would get the class data. So what I did sitting by myself is I basically simulated this on my own where I did 20 different trials and rolled a die until I got a six. And then I rebooted the trial to see how long it would take me to, yeah, to roll <laughs> to roll a six. So here's the data that I got, and you're going to copy this into your notes next to class data. Remember, I, I did this 20 times to simulate an actual class. All of my classes have more than 20 kids, but here we go. We'll just pretend people were absent. First time I rolled a six on the very first roll. Okay, so that's really short. Um, second time, it took me nine rolls. Then uh, three, one, 14, three, nine, three, one, 13, nine, eight, 21, 14, three, two, 18. Nine, eight, and one. So um, you pause the video if you need to to give yourself time to write those numbers down. And what we'll do is there's space in your notes for finding the average, but because I kind of jumped ahead a little bit and did the um, mean and median part first, what we'll do is we'll find the average and we'll find the median, and then we can talk a little bit about what those numbers mean. So um, to find the average, we would need to add up all of these numbers and then divide by however many numbers we have. And you really probably want to use your calculator to do this. We are going to eventually get to standard deviation. That'll probably be one of the last things we do before we get to your, um, to get to the EOC, which is like less than three weeks away. Actually like two, at, at the time I'm recording this, like two weeks away, it's insane. Uh, anyway, 
we'll go over how to use your graphing calculators to do this because your graphing calculator will do it for you very nicely. Um, so to find the average, we are going to do 1 plus 9 plus, and you're going to add them all up, plus 9 plus 8 plus 1, and divide by 20. Now, when you're doing this and you need to show work, what I would like to see from you is you don't have to do like one plus, like I'm assuming you're going to use the calculator for that. Um, what you need to show me is just the sum. Okay, so you would show me the 150 over the 20. That way I can tell if you make a mistake. Um, I can tell that you made a mistake in the adding and not in the calculating of the average. And that's really important because that tells me that, yes, you do understand how to calculate the average, but your finger slipped when you were on the calculator. That's not a serious problem. But if you actually have, um, you know, like some other number and I don't know how you got it, and then I don't know where the problem is. So, uh, And then this is 7.5. And you'll notice that 7.5 is actually not a number that's on this list. So there you go. Not a number on the list. Now, as we, we do this, we'll go through and we'll find the median as well. I want you to think if you can reason out what this number should be. Because I know it says at the beginning we might not have a, uh, know enough about the situation. But this situation, you actually do know enough about it to be able to figure out on average how long you think it would take you to roll a six. So kind of keep that in mind. So the average from this experiment or simulation was it took me on average seven and a half rolls. Okay, again, obviously you don't roll the die half a time, but you get the point. Okay, let's go and find the median then of this data set. And remember the first thing that you need to make sure you do when you're finding the median is you need to order your set of numbers from least to greatest. And honestly, that is probably the yuckiest part of finding the median is doing the ordering. And again, if you have a graphing calculator, your graphing calculator, you can dump all these numbers in it and it will find you the mean, the median, the mode. Some, I think some of the calculators do mode. Um, standard deviation, it's, it's awesome. Um, it'll also put them in order for you if you want them to. Now, when you're reordering them, it's really easy to leave stuff out. And so what I'm going to do is start with the number one, and I'm actually going to physically mark off the number ones as I put them in my list. So I have one, two, three, four ones. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to look through and find my twos. I have just one, two, and now do the same with threes. I have one, two, three, four threes. And um, I don't have any fours. I don't have any fives. I don't have any sixes. I don't have any sevens. That's actually kind of weird, but that is what happens. Um, Eight. We do have a couple of eights. So I have one, two eights. Um, I have one, two, three, four nines. Uh, now, um, I don't think I have a 10, an 11, or a 12, but I do have a 13. I have two four two fourteens um an eighteen and a twenty one now I'm gonna do two things I'm going to scan through this list and make sure everything has been crossed out and I'm also gonna count my numbers down here to make sure that I haven't um that I, I still have the same number of numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, now I know that can be really tedious, but it's not difficult. It just it requires that you slow down, you take the time, check your work, make sure you do it right, don't rush through it. Because if you rush through it, you're gonna get all the wrong numbers, which means you end up losing all kinds of points over just like because you didn't take the time to do it right. So now we're looking for the middle number. There are a couple ways you can do this. 
Um, some people will, will kind of go with, you know, that there were 20 numbers. So, you know, like 10 numbers is the halfway, half the way uh, 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 is the halfway point. Some people will do this kind of thing where they'll mark off one at one end, one at the other end and just kind of like tick mark through them. Um, however you want to do that is up to you. I'm going to count 10 in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to double check one, oops, let me do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, what happens here is that there is no middle number there. And when there is no middle number, what you have to do is you have to take the average of the two middle numbers. Um, you don't have to do that if there is a middle number, okay? Um, but you do have to take the average of the two. So we would do 8 plus 8 over 2. I hope you don't really need to do this, that you know the average of 8 and 8 is 8. Like if you have an 80% on every single thing that you do in this class, you will have an 80% average. But that's how that works. Um, and so the median is actually an 8. To be honest, I am kind of surprised by that. I really thought in this example that the median was going to be lower than the average, and it wasn't. Okay, so I'm going to offer you some extra credit on this. Okay, so here's what you can do for extra credit. To establish that you watched this video and you made it all the way to the end, um, what I want you to do is I want you to go to the class discussion board, okay, and I want you to type in the word, the words, you found the median. Um, and what that is, is that is the answer to the question, what did I do in the notes, like in this lesson, that actually isn't in your notes? Um, and that, that I found the median of the probability simulation. So go to the class discussion board, type in you found the median. Um, I'm not going to give you forever to do this, so you need to do it by the time that the, this lesson is, like when it's assigned. So whenever I assign this video to you and you're supposed to do it that night, um, you need to type it in that night. And because um, if you're doing this like if you're watching this video like a month after you've taken the test, then no, you're not getting extra credit for this. That's silly. So um, anyway, but it is an option um, for you. Okay, so um, there you go. And there's our next lesson on this topic.